Okay, today we want to look at how to build a truly interactive website experience using WebGL. My name is Elisha Tarada. I'm the Technical uh, Innovation Director at Fresh Consulting. And... Yep, and I'm Johnny Rodriguez, uh, Strategic Innovation Director here at Fresh Consulting. Yep, and we are both uh, running the Fresh Labs, where we look at and create all these innovative stuff. And we want to look at five websites today uh, that kind of give you an idea of how you can incorporate with GL to your website to create interactive uh, experience. And the first one we want to look at is Bruno Simon. It's a portfolio website uh, by Bruno. And he creates all these cool stuff. He also teach courses. And if you click start, you land into his world and this is basically his portfolio website which i think is really cool instead of like a static uh web page you scroll through you like experience the world and what's interesting with the webgl is that it runs really fast on your computer because it leverages the underlying engine uh, at the native speed and this is i think is a feature of creating a lot of interactive experience on the website. And, you know, we're gonna look at different examples, but yeah, th this this is probably my most favorite one just because it, it's fun. Yeah, this it's is super just, fun. It's not, yeah, it's not just like, oh, cool, look at the animation as you scroll, which I think most websites do, but <laughs> this one you can actually play with it. Yeah, it's like a yeah. whole, the whole experience, this kind of brings the question to me, Elisha, I guess the question that comes to my mind is, as we think about the metaverse and some of the 2D, I guess, what do you call those? 3D experiences that are presented in 2D, maybe Decentraland, um, maybe put the sandbox in that experience. Um, are those yeah. experiences leveraging WebGL? Yes. So most of those like high-end, I, I would say high-end, but game or app that where users are interacting like the central land most of them i would say leverage is unity unity is a game engine that is actually often used to build real games that you can play on the console and they can actually export their uh, gaming experience as a webgl that you can load on the website and sure. for this website, I know for sure he utilized 3JS. So that's more of a JavaScript uh, engine that generates the WebGL experience. But yeah. I know a lot of like game companies can also export their experience into the... Oh. Yes, so this is a 3JS. And if you go to 3JS websites, you actually see all the other kind of examples. Yeah. So yeah, you can actually quite a lot go of into all cool immersive experience. portfolio items there too. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, let's look at the next one that okay. we have. So this is Richard Mataka. So this is like another a portfolio style experience, but instead of like driving around the car and immersive experience, this is like animation interaction behind the scenes as you navigate the website so if you click like a work prototypes or press oh you know, how it seamlessly transition like instead of page like refreshing you know to another like page it, the background elements kind of represent like continuity as you navigate through the website and this is a little bit different from just playing like the mp4 video like you see on like maybe Apple product websites where as you scroll, you see like a movie playing as you scroll, right? But this is like a real interactive yeah. thing that reacts to your mouse movements. So it's a little bit more high-end experience. And I love how yeah, it kind of immersive. continues the experience. Yeah. And I like this approach because I think this is a little bit more familiar for users in terms of how to navigate, uh, especially if they're not... If, users are not familiar with like a Bruno type immersive experience, maybe more users can like, understand like regular website navigation. 
And I think this is more accessible uh, by far uh, because they don't, yeah. you know, if if they don't see these animations, it's okay because it's just HTML links and everything uh, for the rest of the site. Does 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 WebGL perform pretty well on uh, like popular mobile devices and tablets? Uh, I would say so, yeah, because it, it, I think there's some uh, conditions. I think if you use, for example, Safari on iOS, that is leveraging the hardware a little bit more. But I think if you use Chrome, I think Chrome is like wrapping around Safari engine. So you might see slightly less performance there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, is this so, the, is I think this as one long here? as you use Safari. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. That's but when you see that much green, that's actually pretty good, even on lower yeah, versions. Yeah, it, it's supported. A lot of time though, I think web authors tend not to bother showing the experience because it it is still like a chunk of assets they have to download, right? Some yeah. are code, but some are texture assets they have to download. Or the immersive experience doesn't make sense because you don't have keyboard to navigate. Hmm. So, like, I don't know how you're gonna drive the car, for example, in the Bruno case for the mobile. Yeah. So I, I think take a look the, at the mobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the assets. Yeah, I think for the mobile, I think it's still maybe not the best experience to load the WebGL. Yeah. Good to know. Okay, let's look at the yeah next website. illusion called this is i'd say like even more like interactive and it reacts to your mouse movement way more than the previous one because previous one was a little bit more subtle behind the scenes like it moved just a little bit but was not as distracting this one is like like pretty much in your face like it doesn't get into the navigation but like yeah they're gonna throw you into this 3d you know, <laughs> object with the texture morphing around as you scroll the mouse. So this wow. is like more like in your face. This is it feels the like I'm touching it though. I, I can almost feel it. <laughs> yeah, because I think previous one had a delay, right? Like as you move the mouse, mm -hmm. like it, it reacted a little bit slower as like a more subtle yep. effect. But this one is like, yep, you're in there. It doesn't take away your mouse control. And that you can still scroll up and down, right? You you don't need to use the keyboard to navigate uh, like Bruno, but this is like way more like in your face. I think this is kind of cool or like creative. Yeah, it's like very intentionally edgy. in your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I really like that experience. Yeah. Now maybe it's, it's almost it's like you're a... showing off a little bit. You're showing yeah, off yeah. a little bit, but it also is it also is like. It makes it very, very unique, especially like look at these transitions from this yeah. to this experience down here. Whoa, what is yep. this? Yeah, and stay, stay there. Don't blindly stay follow there. the cloud. <laughs> this is yeah, creepy. Stay, stay there, you <laughs> notice these people running around and the lights are reflected, right? Real time onto their like, cloth. So wow. they're doing some of like reflection of light. They're probably, I'm pretty sure they're like, making it simplify because in like unreal like engine four and five they can do more complex like particle reflections and stuff but in this case i think they're reflecting light but maybe not super complex yeah but i, I think sure. this is kind of can... cool demonstration let's see if i can see it in full screen here wow this is crazy yeah this is like you can keep watching this forever yeah it's very very intriguing okay next yeah. here let's yeah, go over one. to medal of honor yep. oh i think i went to the wrong one medal of honor this one there we go <clears throat> so i guess there's a rating mature audience uh it's not yep. it's not that bad but if you click on yeah make sure before you watch this video you pass the rating <laughs> But yeah, if we click on the charge into history, and we don't have to go too deep, they do something interesting where they combine like this, like like illustration art, like almost like hand drawn art style, right? 
but then they kind of go into i think this is just a youtube video part like a video in bed but if you skip the video yeah and then if you click and i think you have to mouse like zoom in and out oh wow as it's, i scroll it, it's animating yeah, me through it, this yeah it's very interesting how it's like all the illustrations but placed i guess in like a 3d space that your camera as a user is like navigating around the pre-drone scenes and then at certain points oh, wow. you know they they play the video to kind of compensate for you know not being able to recreate the actual game experience so they have to insert the video there but the world they kind of drill kind of create a contrast right there's like a 2d like illustrated part but it's a moving picture and the mix with the game being the actual 3d vr world they kind of mix and match like different reality different angle I find that to be a very interesting way to advertise yeah i don't think i've seen something like this yeah it's a mix of 3d and art and it's just very immersive sounds like you're there but it's also stopping yeah. time and then they bring out the elements of kind of focus when they need to in this case to do, to do the videos yeah um wow yeah and this is a game that takes a 40 gigabyte on your Oculus quest <laughs> 2 on your quest yeah, yeah. and it's like priced at 39 dollars. so i know it's like one of the probably a triple a gaming experience for the vr yeah. headset. wow cool. let's go to the i think there's another one yes oh we go let's play so it's a pinball game so if you click go And then if you look to the right. Oh, let me see if I can move this out of the way here. There we go. And then that's a train that you can pull. I'm holding space and bar and then releasing. Yep. Whoa. Yep. And, and then you key. have to use your keyboard to, yeah. Wow. This feels like a real And I don't keyboard. know if there's uh, much point to it besides the score. I only played a few times, but... It's very interesting way to advertise this. Like, what do you think it's trying to advertise? Well, that's a good question. I, I felt like it was just a game to be played. Um, <laughs> I noticed that yeah, if you French. remove, <clears throat> yeah, if you remove the let's play dot and then just go to the oegol.com, you'll see mm. what's behind. I, I thought this was very clever. Oh. It's their train system. Yep. Like they're they're like wow. Let's go to English here. Or yeah, English. Yeah, High speed trains like, at a low cost. <laughs> departures yeah. and it's a whole game. Wow, interesting. Yeah. But it's a way like, to promote it, I guess. What is this yeah, what is this game? What's the point? And then I went to the main website and like, oh, it's a clever way. Like maybe it's trying to appeal to like, you know, younger generations of you know, people who play games or maybe it's like more worthy of sharing because otherwise it's maybe it's boring to share like a travel site, right? Like maybe you don't really share like Expedia.com to your friends, but you probably share this interactive game experience to your friend and play the score and you kind of associate the brand in your mind probably. So it might not yeah. be immediate thing to think about, but yeah, what did, what did you think? of the experience yeah i mean these are great i definitely feel like i've consumed webgl experiences before and and um have played around with it some but uh i don't think i've seen all of these experiences before so i i'm impressed i think what i'm most impressed with is the fact of you know how how well it runs in the browser and how immersive mm -hmm. it feels it just feels like a wholly like a completely different way to experience the web um yeah, and uh, it starts to bring in some spatial elements, right? Because it's 3D, yeah. it's immersive. You can kind of see different angles, and it starts to get more in that 3D inside of a 2D realm. Yeah, yeah, we are going to be exploring um, ourselves 3JS how we can use it in our project as well. So make sure you guys follow us on YouTube and on our social media channels for more things that we're going to showcase in the future. Thank you yep. for joining today. Yep, thank you. Thank you.